Okay guys, this is a follow-up to the best top two-piece door series that I was doing for my Jeep. Uh, this is with the front half off. See, it looks, has a pretty unique look. Looks pretty cool. I like it. Um, usually I either have doors on or doors off. I usually don't do the half doors, but I guess if I'm worried about it, maybe sprinkling or something, I might drive around the half doors on like they are. We'll go ahead and head to the back and I'll show you how I store the front halves. right there that's the front half pieces right there all right now we're filming as you see I got the back half pieces in here now so now we'll go ahead and take a walk around the side here and show you what she looks like with the doors off just the lower halfs on so so with just the lower half on there you go the thing is, again, you better lock your doors because to get these doors off is pretty simple. All you do is come to the door, open the door here, and just lift it off. And guess what? They're going to walk away with your doors. So make sure that you guys lock your doors on your truck. Again, guys, make sure you store your Jeep. If you have these doors on, that you lock them. Otherwise, you're going to come back and your Jeep's going to look just like this. No doors on it. So... Make sure you do that, um, otherwise you're going to risk losing them. This goes around to the front here, and as you can see, doors are all off. The best thing about it is I can go interstate travel now and actually drive somewhere outside of the state and not have to worry about being without my doors, and there's all my doors right there. And again, they're all nice and locked inside this box here. I still have plenty of room if I want to carry a couple things in here that uh, I need to secure, such as a rifle or handguns or ammo or any of that stuff. Um, it's pretty secure. Even if someone were to break into the top of my Jeep. Even if they were to break in, again, they can go ahead. My Jeep is completely secure. Going around to the front here. Everything is nice and secure. There's no way for anyone to get into that box unless they have a blowtorch, a hammer, pry bar, or some way. If they really want in there, they're going to get in there. But it's going to take a lot to get in there, and someone's probably going to notice that. So I'm um, a real bit advocate of these Tuffy boxes. Every Jeep I've ever owned, every Wrangler I've ever owned, has always had one of these in it, and it works out really well. I've done the homemade plywood stuff. Eh, not so good. So these guys right here, it takes a lot. This piece right here will support 200 pounds plus of weight. I've had a couple of generators up there, and... Some other things I've stood on it when we've been at Jeep rallies and whatnot, and uh, it's just a great little, uh, great little box to have. Anyhow, y'all have a good day. That's the end of that video.